Adventures, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve. Today I'm painting a turtle. <laughs> uh, to be precise, an alligator turtle. Uh, got a commission to do a custom turtle monster, which is currently in the works. Probably be a video of this guy here sometime in the near future. Uh, but send an extra one for me to paint up. So as you guys can see, this one is black at the moment, uh, which is primarily for the undercoat. And then some of the spots are still going to be fairly black for this guy anyways. So I'm just going to start painting them. Uh, it's a lot of essentially the colors I'm going for. <laughs> uh, but it's a lot of like yellows, oranges, and browns. And then we're going to add some little algae effects to the top and I'll showcase that in this video too.
this part, I'm going to be adding my uh, moss to him since he's all painted up now before I clear coat him. Because when I clear him, he'll, uh, everything will definitely be secure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some matte Mod Podge. Not a crap ton of it, but enough. I want a brush that I really don't care about. <laughs> and I'm trying, I guess I could probably go with one that I've already used a bunch that probably needs to go bye-bye. I'm going to take a little bit of Mod Podge. Especially since I don't have a lot in here anyways. Now you take this. Oop. Might have added a little too much, but you kind of get the gist. And I'm just going to kind of slowly incorporate some of this in. You'll see it's already kind of sticking to this. Because I want it to kind of go on decently liquidy. There we go. That's more what I'm looking for. I want like a mushy green paste, but then I'm just going to apply it around. This will give the shell a little bit more character. And then what I could do too is because this is tacked up now, let's kind of sprinkle it on. Here and there. There. Now he kind of looks like he's got some algae on him. Probably should have put on a pan or something. But I gotta do some dust anyways, so this will work. I think just kind of just sit around and let him cure. All right, so here's the alligator snapping turtle in its uh, completed phase stage, if you will. Also, you'll see my little cloth isn't here on the table. I got some pop on it. It's in the wash currently. But anyways, um, turned out really good. Really liked using the uh, little, uh, it's like fine green red or green powder that is usually used for grass, for like train sets and like dioramas, but made for a really nice like algae moss kind of look for the turtle here. Kind of gives it its like own little natural camouflage paint job. Uh, just like you see in the video is a lot of blacks, dark grays, there's browns, some yellows. Same with on the under section of the turtle here. Turned out really nice. And then really like the way the, um, the little pointed color edges on the tips of the spiky bits on the shell turned out really good too. And overall really pleased with it, especially the eyes. Eyes turned out really nice for this guy too. The only thing that threw me off is like looking at photos of the inside of these turtles mouths and it's just like, it looks just like the body and it's weird. <laughs> um, but still super fun to paint and pretty pleased with the end results here. And hopefully you guys are too. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Also helps to uh, support the channel without donating. But if you guys like to donate, we also got a Patreon. And also Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and Pinterest. You guys like to keep up with the date with the channel. And there's that little annotation bell at the top. Also do the trick. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.